All right, <clears throat> before we get into training, get a relationship with your local bike shop. Get it serviced before you start the training program and get them to do it head to toe. And then also, after the big week, week 10, get them to go through it all again. The other thing you need to remember, if you're running DI, any electronic devices, make sure your batteries are charged 100%. You hear of people who don't have their bikes serviced. They'll go to all this trouble of doing a program or, or try, even if they're not involved in the program, but going through this whole process, the entry fee, the effort to go to, to the event. They'll go to the start line. They'll go down the descent at Falls Creek. They'll get there. There'll be a bit of glass in the tire or there'll be you know, a broken chain or a junk. You, or the, the, the cluster is not running right. It would just be the worst, the worst thing to spend, you know, seven or eight hours or, you know, plus with a mechanical, you know, a, ch a jumping chain. Let's just make sure it's a controllable thing that you can get done. Just get it done right. But on top of that, I always, whenever I'm at training, riding, front and rear light, on all the time. Or, you know, in a, in a flash mode during the day, you know, we're sharing the road with other other users. You know, let's be visible as possible. Um, in terms of the weight of the bike, I always uh, carry two drink bottles. You always want to weigh the bike, you know, because when you do Peaks Challenge, you're going to be carrying two drink bottles. And if you've never, you never train with two drink bottles, your actual bike's gonna be heavier than when you train on it. So you're gonna actually be not actually feeling you're on top of it. So always train with two drink bottles. And I always uh, train with heavier tires than what I would normally do the event on. Number one, creates more resistance. Number two, they're less puncture resistant. Tires, in terms of tire pressure, look at it, it it all depends on body weight, but I think even if you're 80, 90 kilos, you don't want to go any more than 100 PSI. It's something, you, you know, going down the descents, you don't want your tyres rock solid. You actually want them to, a bit of grip on the tyres, if you pump them right up to it, you know, you hear of thing 120 PSI and all that, you don't want them rock solid. They give you a hard ride, you're going to be on the bike, you know, eight hours plus, you actually want a nice, you know, a nice comfortable ride. So actually bigger bag tires, you know, up to, you know, you can even get 27s, 25s. You know, 25s I think is a good thing if they fit in your bike okay. This, you know, this bike at the moment's got a 28 on the front and a 25 on the rear. I'm, you know, 74 kilos. I run in at about 70 PSI and that's all the air you need in them and I get a, you get a nice comfortable ride. It's not harsh on the body.